Hey YouTube, welcome back to another brand new video, and I wanted to start off this video by saying we won! But unfortunately I cannot say that because it got Breeze mad that I said that. I mean, I only said we won the strike because like, we got the video back, so we won the video back, but he took it as like an attack, um, yeah. Anyways, the reason why I'm making this video is because I promised Cashy to make a video if he retracted the strike. And he did, he removed the strike, so thank you Keshi, I guess. So that the nice works video is finally back, I want to ask you guys one thing. Even if you guys have seen the video, or if you have rewatched it, please, rewatch it again if you have the free time. This video was blowing up and was probably gonna become one of my most viewed videos. Because of the strike, the algorithm kinda like killed the video, so if you guys could rewatch it again and maybe push it back into recommended, we can get the video big again, so it would really mean a lot. I will leave a link to the video in the description down below and in the outro, so... You guys can just fully watch the video and click in the answer if you want that. The main reason why he wanted me to make this video is because he was getting a ton of hate after I made my video talking about him striking me. So here it is. Here's the video, basically. Even though I made the video, it was never my intention to send hate towards him or his channel. I never stand by that stuff. I don't... Uh, I don't support witch hunting. Even though it may have helped me get the strike back in a way, I still cannot support that, so don't. The chance of me getting the video back were actually pretty high. I contacted a couple lawyers actually and YouTube themselves and, that they, and they said that the video was fair use and that the chance of me getting the video back were pretty high, but it would take some time, right? Breeze removing the strike would have actually been the fastest way of me getting the video back and that's why I went for that directly, right? If I could convince Breeze to give me the video back, then hey. Why not? So for this video, Breeze was actually supposed to write a part himself as well, so I could like talk about what he wanted me to talk about, but um, he kind of got lazy and he wanted to play Tartarus or something like that, and he said, hey, I can send you the part around the end of the week. But, like, I was not gonna drag out this topic for another week. Like, it, it's just too too long for me. Breeze said that he will make a video himself later on. So, the first thing you want me to talk about is that Breeze called me fake because I didn't contact him before I made my first news news video. And to that, I really have to say... Um, I didn't have a way to contact him, like, I, he was pretty small back then, so it wasn't easy to find him. He says that he had a Discord link in his description, which I don't remember if I even checked out, but if, if it was, that was a mistake on my end. But even then, I'm not really forced to contact him, I guess, like, there, the evidence was there of him hacking, right? And him striking the videos, the evidence was there, so nothing I would have said would have probably changed the topic. And that's not even completely true, because I was on his streams, and he banned me on his live stream, so... Yeah, I kind of tried to contact him, but I do see where he's coming from at least. Because a live stream is probably not the best way to contact someone about like drama topics like this. He's also apparently mad about my second news video in which I defended Bo. Um, I didn't really defend Bo, but I really brought up the Bo situation. Because Bo said that he, he was having suicidal thoughts about the entire Bo and Breeze drama. Breeze claims that Bo is lying, but he also says that Bo has uh, mental health problems. So I don't really know what to think of this. I don't have enough information about this. So this is really a fight about this is really a situation between Bo and Breeze. But apparently those two are friends now again. So I guess that topic is over. He also wanted me to bring up the hacking stuff, but um, he admitted that in the past he has hacked, which we clearly saw. There was tons of evidence, as you guys saw in those news videos. But he says that he is not hacking anymore. I don't know if he if that's true. I don't watch his videos. I don't really care enough to see if he's hacking or not. Clearly, like, even in News News 11, I said I'm just leaving this entire topic behind because it just, like, kept getting more and more stuff, and I don't really care anymore, really. Like, if he's not gonna stop, that's, that's on him. And it's about it's on you if you got, if you want to check it out or not. Like I don't mind, but he says he's not hacking at least. Um, he striked a ton of ton of videos in the past, and he said that I never talked about him retracting the strikes, which is not true. He clearly does not watch my Houston News videos because in the very next Houston News, in Houston News 11, I literally said he retracted all the strikes. Here's a clip. A good thing about Breeze is he retracted all of his strikes. That's right. He removed all of the false strikes he made. That's a step in a good direction, right? The main problem I have about this is that he's still striking videos like. Hello, he striked me unfairly, right? So he still does it. So I, I'm not really here to forgive him for that, really, because he still he clearly still has not learned from his mistakes on that one. I hope that this will be the last false strike he will issue. He also said that I used four seconds of his video copy pasted, but I already showed in my last video, which I'm going to be showing again that I did not take four seconds, but it was actually just one second clip he striked. <laughs> The main problem I have about this is that he still, to this day, abuses YouTube's copyright system to take videos down, to silence people, or to basically hurt people, really, which is what he did to me. He, he says he was angry about me stealing his content, but first of all, it, it, was, it was a parody of Bo's golden video, so it wasn't really his own content, but fair, I'll give that to him. It was one second, so there's no way that's stealing content in like a 10 plus minute video. And finally, like, 
if he didn't want that, he could have contacted me, which is the main thing he got angry about with me, right? He said I was angry that I did not contact him, but it proceeds to not contact me either. So that's a bit hypocritical coming from him, actually. He wanted to talk about me accusing him. I'm not quite sure what accusations he means, actually, but... I never accused him of anything, and I can say this boldly because both my Houston News te episode 10 and 11 had large portions about me talking about Reese, and not not a single time have I accused him of anything. Every point I brought up was a, a point in which he was exposed by somebody else, or there was already evidence provided for me to talk about it. I never ever accused him of anything. Not that I can remember actually. Finally, our DMs were mostly a roller coaster, really. Like, when I made my video about the streak, so many of Breeze's friends actually contacted me trying to help me resolve the situation because Breeze wouldn't talk to me. He blocked me, he banned me of anything. The people who actually got to him was Morg Flame. Morg Flame DM Breeze and he finally convinced him to talk to me, which actually led to him removing the strike. So I want to really thank Morg Flame. Breeze ended up contacting me. We ended up going in a call and we talked about this, uh, our past drama, basically, about his past dramas as well. So we came to the conclusion that he was going to remove the strike and that I would make a video like this one to bring up the topic, bring up his side. So when we initially went to talk about this topic, Breeze kind of got mad. I'm not sure if it's because his lack of English that he did not understand what I was talking about. But all I wanted was him to write a script or record a part about himself so I could show that in the video and talk about it. So now these are the topics he wanted me to talk about as far as I know. So I brought these up. This is my side of the story. He's going to make a video about his side of the story. I'm going to be honest. I don't plan on bringing up anything about Breeze anymore again. I said this on Houston News 11. Again, I'll show here the clip. Anyways, I don't plan on talking about Breeze anymore. I, I just made a follow up because there has been so much stuff going on around him. But I really, really don't want any more drama. Like, I, I just made a nice Cirque video and I inserted one second clip for memes. And I got striked unfairly for that. That's the only reason why we got back into this this roller coaster. One thing I did not appreciate is that Breeze got so angry to the point that he even threatened to strike my video again. But I mean, he can't because it's literally stated in YouTube rules when you retract the strike, you cannot strike a video again. But that's really low on him. And it really shows about the, at least the strike part that he still has not learned his mistakes. Because he still threatens people to strike, which I just despise so much. I'm willing to believe he stopped... Um, harassing people, I'm willing to believe he stopped hacking and all that stuff, but like the striking stuff really needs to stop Breeze, it really needs to stop. Anyways, I did not make this video to fuel any more fire, I actually made this video to put a stop to all this drama, I don't want any more uh, drama of Breeze, uh, I don't want to get involved with anything he does, even if he continues with stuff in the future, I'm, I don't want to get involved in it, I don't have anything to do, and I will not talk about the news news anymore. Unless it gets too big, you know, to be ignored for the community. For now, I just really don't want have any anything to do with the drama anymore. I'm just done with it. This took so much time out of me. I was going to upload like a couple other videos in between that got pushed back because I had to resolve this situation first. With that being said, I'm really happy that the Nine Circus video is finally back and I can leave this drama behind. Once again, please, if you guys have the free time, watch the Nine Circus video again so it can get be pushed back into the recommendations in YouTube because this video was blowing up before it got striped. So it would mean a ton to me if you guys, even if you already watched it or rewatched it, Please, rewatch it again fully, please. Let's push this back into Recommended. I'll put a link in the description down below to the video and in the outro. So, hey, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Boo! I often said and wish that I could just change my past To think about you, Dad, there's so much shit that I could ask Like, why am I still haunted by the day that you left? I wake up in the middle of the night with cold sweats